On Tuesday, December 1st, five European leaders, including Spanish President Mariano Rajoy, UK Prime Minister David Cameron, and the General Secretary of the European Council, Thorborn Jaglin, published an article in the Spanish daily El País in which they condemned the excesses of the Venezuelan government against the opposition. The article came just five days before Venezuela's December 6th National Assembly elections. In the piece, the European leaders claim that the electoral environment has been dominated by, quote, violence, and they insinuate that Venezuela does not respect democracy and freedom of expression. Not only are their claims based on biased, manipulated, or false information, but they're also extremely hypocritical. On July 1st, Spanish President Rajoy oversaw the implementation of the draconian citizen security law, essentially banning protests outside public institutions, prohibiting photographing police, and levying huge fines for certain unauthorized demonstrations and disobeying other rules. This, apparently, is Rajoy's description of democracy and freedom. In Venezuela last year, 43 people were killed and hundreds injured in violent opposition-led street blockades that rocked the country, damaging public property and blocking roads and access to hospitals and schools. Some of those responsible for the violence are in jail in Venezuela. Yet, in another bit of twisted logic, in the El País article, these European leaders actually called on these people to be freed, describing the protests as peaceful. The article concludes by calling on Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro to respect the results of the December 6 election, despite the fact that Maduro has promised to, and the opposition has not. What we're seeing here is not actually concern, but hypocrisy by a group of conservative European leaders to attempt to influence the political process in Venezuela in favor of their allies. The group didn't condemn Colombia, for instance, in the lead-up to that country's regional elections in October. Their violence and intimidations really had taken place, with more than a dozen political assassinations before the vote. It's simple. The El País article isn't about democracy or freedom. It's about a push to undermine a legitimate government because it doesn't hold their political views. It's about hypocrisy.